Plants evolved the carnivorous lifestyle in response to growing in soils with low nitrogen content. By evolving various mechanisms to trap insects and other prey, these plants can thrive in boggy, nutrient-poor soils. This week's video highlights some of the awesome carnivorous plants that I saw during my trip to Florida. Hey! No flowers on it though, but it does have prey on it. Yeah. So, so what is this? Pinguicula, Pinguicula lutea. Okay. Lentibulariaceae. Yep. Yep. So this is uh, the small carnivorous group of the Lamiales. You said there's prey on it. I, I see little gnats oh, yeah. that have been the little gnats. It's fi catching little tiny gnats. So how's how's the uh, pinguicula do that? Sticky. It's sticky. The hair and the yeah, leaves are sticky. It. Yep. It's a sticky mucus right. on the leaves, and it's capable of digesting right through the leaf oh, surface. Cool. Butterworts have a sticky mucus that traps insects that land on the basal rosette of leaves. This mucus contains enzymes that can digest right through any unlucky bug that meets the butterwort. This species is a yellow flower, a tall, tall scape with yellow flowers in early spring. So it Pinguicula lutea. It's a really, if we were in a different habitat, it might be hard to tell that that was lutea from just the uh, vegetation, but we know that would be the only one in this, mm -hmm. this particular habitat. Good find. Very cool. This is another species of butterwort, known as Pinguicula pumula. Unlike the yellow-flowered Pinguicula lutea, this species produces white or violet-colored flowers. Oh yeah, they're hard to see, but there's more Drosera. Much more Drosera. Cool. There's a Utricula, you can't see it in here. There's more. Droseras, commonly known as sundews, have hairs on the leaf pads that contain a sweet-smelling, sticky fluid at the tips. Similar to butterworts, the sundews trap insects through the use of the sticky sap. Once the insect is stuck, the sundew leaf curls up, ensuring there is no escape. On the, oh, it's like transparent the, or something. Yeah, and then they go down. They crawl inside here, and then they go down, uh -huh. and they see the light coming through it. They try to come back up, and then they fall down, and then they look at Saracenia minor is commonly known as the hooded pitcher plant due to the covering above the opening of the funnel. This carnivorous plant has a pool of digestive fluids at the bottom of the funnel that drown any bugs that fall in. On the back of the pitcher are tiny white dots, which act as little windows to let light shine through. This confuses any insects that enter the pitcher plant, so when they fly towards the light at the back of the wall, they fall directly into the trap below. The little windows, as we call it. That's the hooded pitcher plant. Mm-hmm. Right, and there's the hood. The windows are called venestration Yeah. So that's windows. Huh. But the only species we have out here are Saracenia minor, the hooded. Saracenia minor? Mm-hmm. As opposed to the panhandle, which has many more taxa. Yeah. Yeah, a lot more in the panhandle of Florida. We're at the southern end of the limit for minor. <laughs> Pitcher plants also have very interesting flower morphology with a stigma that forms an umbrella over the developing ovary. Static surfaces right here. They oh. own this umbrella. And there's oh. the developing fruit. So this is the pistil. Okay. <laughs> huh. It's the most bizarre looking pistil. Yeah, yeah. And so these are sepals. Right. Developing over the ovary mm -hmm. and the pistil, and all you're listing are petals and stamens. Cool. <laughs> so oh, technically, neat. I suppose you could say it's, it's still got a flower flower part. Right, right. Since it has that persistent, uh, what would you call it? It's like it's it's the pistil. Does it yeah. have a specialized name? It probably does. Yeah, Edwin. 
It's the, it's got a specialized name, but it's the I mean, give them the same thing. Thank you so much for watching. Huge shout out to Edwin Bridges, Steve Orzel, and Alex Griffel for letting me go out and do field work with them in Florida. And uh, if you want to see more videos in the future, please like this and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next week.